Hello everybody, welcome back to Attack in the Power of Juju. This is Silver Zephyr Falcon, and today we're going to be going to the Tree Village. Last time we were at the Burial Grounds, the creepy tomb thing. And we got this nice, snooky staff. With which we can cross large gaps and get onto high ledgers. <laughs> and kill nerbles really quickly. So, this ledge over here is to prevent us from getting up here until we had the staff. <laughs> so, now we can get up here. And, cheap trick, you can just hop straight over this ledge. Skip a whole lot of backtracking. This we'll get to a bit later. Just let me come back from it. Tree village. Yeah, nerbles can actually drop pretty high. Well, here's the entrance to the tree village. I know you might already know this, but this elevator takes you straight to Tree Village. As I said last time, today I'm recording a whole ton of different parts. This is my second part today, so that we can upload them at an attack. These decent I'm not time. seeing any people. It looks like all the tree villagers have been turned into sheep as well. It's so sad. These people are so peaceful. Nothing bad should ever happen to them. Ah, uh, those orangutans. They love sheep. <sighs> we'll get to experiment with that later. For now, I have to get on top of that opening if I can actually get up there. There's something up here. Maybe that's a different area. Yeah. So yeah, this is Tree Village. A village entirely in the treetops. Hey Tech, look! It's a sheep motor. If you can get that sheep to run, the motor will work. Sorry, dude. Poor villagers. We'll whack them to get them to do anything. That's actually a pretty cool place. Hey, what if you jump on this motor to see what it does? Alright, sure. Get rid of these plants. I'm pretty sure I saw some sheep when we first got here. I bet bringing the sheep here would do the trick. Yeah, yeah, what you said, Flora. Yep, you can't get here without sheep. You can make the motor run yourself, but the door will close. So, let's go grab one of those sheep. And here's where we get to see... ...why the orangutans love them. Kinda creepy, actually. I feel bad for the sheep. Because if there's a sheep anywhere near an orangutan, it will pick it up and toss it on its leaf. You watch this. It just knows that there's a sheep behind it and turns around. When in doubt, take the stick out. the sheep on the motor, and hit it to start it moving. We're so abusive, aren't we? That's a bag of everlasting acorns over there. I think you'll find them to be very useful. Yep, this is one of the most useful weapons in the game, in my opinion. Awesome! Now your staff can work as a blowgun. Try to use the acorns to hit things that are far away. Remember, if you want to switch between your club and the blowgun, just press the toggle weapon button. So now, our staff is a blowgun. We can shoot pretty much anything we want. Get to the edge of this, and shoot that monkey to make him kill those nerbles for us. Haha. <laughs> Oh. 
Sniping at its best. Ah, now it's just shooting the sheep. We can shoot the nurbles ourselves, but it doesn't do as much damage. And we'll get to that later. So yeah, as opposed to most games... Really? As opposed to most games, where you have a limited amount of projectile weapons, this one right off the bat just gives you unlimited ammo. Which is kind of useful. And instead of getting the monkey to do it, let's just shoot the sheep ourselves. If I can see the sheep, thank you. Really? Move! Is gonna come after me. <laughs> anyway, there's our first Nubu plant. Now we just have to figure out how to get over there. And that's what makes this level kind of fun. I guess they'll point you in the general direction of the plants. But there is some more skill involved in getting to them than there was in the burial grounds. And up here, we see something that I actually prefer to club with. Just because you can keep hitting with the club continuously. Whereas you've got the three hit combo with the staff. That was a nerbal nest. It'll keep spawning nerbles continuously. It'll spawn nerbles until you destroy it. So you want to get it out of the way before you do anything and completely ignore the nerbles. Yeah, and that's one of the things that the game does to screw you over. Or put the orangutan on the wrong tree. But you can do this. <laughs> now that didn't help us too much, did it? But, you saw how the orangutan went over and attacked the monkey? Let's do that again. I'll head all the way over there, just to kill that monkey. And I'll see the bright new tree over here, and decide that it wants that one better than the other one. So now, we've got the tree pointing in the right direction. And the orangutan will fling us correctly. Straight over that new plant. And this one may have those abilities I was talking about last episode. I'm not sure. You see how they put it on this nice little tiny platform? So if you fall off, you fall off. Aren't they nice? Uh, game designers. Whoa, camera. Okay. Uh, and it's basically the same strategy as the other ones. Just keep running around in circles until it starts taunting you. Reach over and attack. And they were nice this time. They decided to make it easy again. It might not be until the third level that starts getting strange. And there's one defeated. Four down. To go. Now we actually have to find our way to the next one. And that'll give you too much help here. But you saw when we went over here, the camera switched to an overhead view. That's because you can go down here. And you can use the same blowgun strategy over here to get the monkey to take care of these for you, but eh, we don't need it. We're strong enough. Ooh, there's another one of those creepy plants. Yeah, thanks for pointing out the obvious. Now this one's kind of difficult to get to. You see all these signs all over the place? They point you right over here. You can't. I don't think this rope swings. It looks like it's anchored to the floor. I believe it's this rope that you need to go up. 
You see, you have to kind of go down to get to that one. Yeah. They make it difficult for you to get to where you're actually supposed to be going. And you don't want to go off that direction, or you'll just end up right when you started. Instead, you have to go kind of below where you were before. And it gives you another tiny platform! And you can't actually circle all the way around it, because it'll just screw you over. And I don't think this one will use that strategy, because there's not enough space for even it to do anything. Besides, keep tossing plants at us. Not that that'll do much. But you can jump over these plants with that same strategy. But yeah. This one we're not gonna be circling around. We're just gonna be going back and forth. There you go. Good little plant. See? Two out of three done already. It's not very difficult. Now this one... You can go over there, or you can hop up here to get back to where you were by jumping down this rope. I don't think you can climb this vine. It looks too slippery. I mean, slimy and gross. Yep, basically. But you saw over here, I said, you saw over here, there was another sign pointing this direction. You go that way to get to the third gateway plant. And you'll keep going in circles, basically, until you get there. Really? You had to put a plant right there? Come on, game. Yeah, they give you that overhead view at kind of random times. See over there is the noodle plant. I have to go all the way over this direction to get to it. And it seems like we're going in circles. But we're not. The game designers just love doing this. Here we got two nests. And yes, I know the club doesn't do as much damage, but you can hit fairly continuously with it and move while you're attacking it. Which makes it more useful for taking out nests and girls. Yeah, this level is just through everything hey, Tack, at you. Did I ever tell you that lots of animals like to eat melons? Yeah. Thanks. What she's basically hey, saying is that we can take this melon sitting in a different tree. Maybe this can help us. And use it to get the orangutan over without the use of monkey. Same kind of way we lured the rams away. It'll fling us right where we need to go. Okay, third plant. Which again is on a tiny platform. They almost always put them on tiny little platforms that you have to you have to make sure you don't fall off them. Just to be mean. Aren't they cool? small platforms also mean it can't use its special ability. Later on, there will be small platforms that it can, but for the most part it can't. And now we're done here. Nice. That didn't take very long okay, at all, did it? That's all the plants here. We should try somewhere else now. Oh, you're doing great. Really? But that's why I don't want to use the staff over here. Because you'll jump over it and completely miss it. Here we go. Uh. Actually, to get in here, you need to do a little bit of work beyond this. This will become more important later. 
this whole section beyond. But for now, we just need to bring a sheep over here and hit it. Oh, I didn't even get to show you this. I can't pick up the sheep again. I'll pick, a, I'll pick one up in this room. And show you one of the cool things you can do if you're picking up a sheep. If you press the A button while you're holding a sheep, it'll just make sheep noises. Pretty cool. Anyway, we'll go back to the to the village now. And since we got some time left, not too much, but I'll go ahead and show off the rest of the village, or at least a portion of the rest of the village. Well, we still need to get more plants. We haven't explored the other side of the island yet, so we should try there next. Sweet! Nice! As Flora said, there's a complete different side of this village. There's the side with Burial Ground and Tree Village, and this other side that has the other two levels that we'll be going to. If I can actually go on the vine. See how we sailed over all of that stuff? Yep. Back down there was where we were going, where we were heading up to Tree Village. And over here, is back where we started. Now, to get to the other side, you have to do some creative... You hit the monkey, and he'll break open this crate for you. And voila, rhino! Now you take this rhino, This is the way to Chicken Island and Dry Rock Canyon, but you'll need to figure out how to get through this gate. I'll come back as soon as I can. Yeah, whatever. You use this rhino to break down these gates, and boom. Now you can get to the second half of the village. Which, as Flora said, is where you can find Chicken Island and Dry Rock Canyon. Which are the last two levels in the first section. Now, I haven't decided which one of these I'm going to do first. Chicken Island is this way over these platforms, and Dry Rock Canyon is over there in, well, the canyon. So I'm going to leave you off with some awesome chicken playing. See you guys later.